is going on everyone how are you guys doing today what i have you today in this video is i want to talk to you guys about what apple is doing with the next ios update but apple admitted that they were slowing down people's iphones uh, especially for the older ones when they get the new software update mainly so that way they can save the components and that way you know save the battery life and by doing that it kind of made the phones win a little poorly a lot of people have complained about that apple even got lawsuits thrown at them so apple is going to fix that with the next ios update now what they've done before as of now is to offer a service where if you have the iphone 6 and the models after that they give you a battery replacement for i believe it was like 29 dollars or something and i made a video a few weeks ago in regards to whether that could be a good or a bad thing depending on what the situation could be apple is going to give you the ability or give you the option to shut off this performance throttling feature in the next ios update so that way people don't have to have their phone slow down if they choose to have it that way now like i said before apple's initial purpose for doing that was to save the phone's light so that way like it doesn't wear out the components and it doesn't make the battery deplete any faster basically try to keep things last a lot longer maybe that's why when i started using my old iphone 3g and iphone 4 at the time while they did start to get laggy like it wasn't as bad as i would have thought for them to be and i've always had better luck with the iphones that i did with the ipod touches because the ipod touches the batteries would just deplete and completely just like that with that being said apple is releasing this update with this capability and is it a good or a bad thing well it depends on the situation if you want your phone to last longer but you don't want it to throttle the performance then this could possibly be a good feature i'm just curious to see if by having this off how much faster the phones are going to wear out and then they're going to start running into issues because with apple pushing out the latest updates but then throttling the performance of the older devices on the bright side the older devices are getting the latest security updates until it's at a point where they cannot get those updates anymore and like i said that could be a good or a bad thing depending if you just want to get a new phone or not it, it is great to see that apple is giving the consumers a choice if they want to shut that feature off or not because in the end it's up to the user as well as the consumer on what they want to do with their phone at the end if they feel like it's up to a point where they just can't take it and it's breaking all the time then they'll just go ahead and start fresh with a new phone or they may switch to a different brand and really this just depends on the user themselves to see what they want to do so for instance now that apple is given this feature and this one particular person does not want it therefore they're they're going to turn it on so that way it doesn't follow the performance great but what are the consequences for that possibly the phone may not last longer than it would be if it did have the throttling performance feature on but at the same time it also depends on what the user wants to do with it because you get people saying hey i spent 900 bucks on a phone and then two years later it just completes out on me and it just starts kind of dying on me the performance is not great that's the issue with smartphones these days and now that you don't have the contract plans anymore you can't get the phones themselves at a discounted price but in the end you probably end up paying for that 900 bucks two years later it really depends on you and how much you love your phone if you love it so much i would say maybe you want to keep this feature on all the time but then again when it starts trialing then you start hating your phone then you just you know, switch it off and then your phone should be acting like normal as if you had got it fresh out of the box and you start liking it again but then once it breaks then that's when you want to have to think about if you want to get it fixed or if you just want to get it replaced so it really depends on you and what you want to do but this could disappoint some people at the same time because if they want to have to change their phones every two years or every year and a half maybe less than that some people may find that inconvenient and then they're just not going to be happy with the products in general and really technology these days when they come out fresh out of the box they are going to run very smoothly you know just like no, my Note 8 for example you know it's running great you know running very smooth butterly smooth but I would say that within a year and a half from now I'm expecting this thing to lag where it may make me consider getting a new phone next and then you know probably the Note 10 may can come out or I might go with something else I don't know we would have to see but that's on the long road and if it comes up to a point where I really do need to replace this phone other than that that's all I have to say for this because there's no set answer as to whether this is a good or a bad thing because this is going to depend on how the people use their phones and what they want to do with it at some point so what do you guys think do you guys think that this is a, a good feature to have leave a comment down below 
curious to see what you guys have to say thanks so much for watching please subscribe rate comment also check the description below for my social media links turn on instagram see you in the next one take care everybody